All right, I'm indeed back, and we have enough time for one more quest. Uh, it's probably going to be the Royal Ludroth. No, we did Purple Ludroth recently. We did Purple Ludroth pretty recently, so we might do something different. Maybe Baroth. Let's do Baroth next. He's he's fun. I fought him in Port Tanz. I fought no, I fought two Baroth in Port Tanzaya, and they were no trouble at all. None, absolutely none. No trouble whatsoever. I will, of course, need... I won't need these, and I won't need the... that. <laughs> I only have one left. Uh, I need... cleansers. Where are they? Cleansers. Yeah, you can carry ten cleansers in this game. Uh, it's probably to make it... It's probably because uh, Capcom made this game easier. Uh, I want the Red Legend. I do have the Alluring Lotus, and, uh, yeah, you know I have the Bewitched Eventagroth. But I'm gonna be going with the Red Bludgeon, the Rathalos Hammer. Pretty nifty. Oh, and I need either cool drinks or hot drinks. I can't remember which one I need. Um, I don't know if it's during the night or during the day, but just one second. I want to see if I can upgrade my hammer. No, I need one more Volt Stone, and I need Thunder Sacks. Okay, that, that's... That's disappointing. And... I found out I'm not gonna be you doing the... I'm not gonna be upgrading to the Sparkle Peko. I'm gonna be going to the Kuru Peck Spander. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I need rare Scarabs, though. Okay. And what do you want? Oh, Hunter, I've been meaning to tell you something. You know that Arzuros route you recently hunted? Well, ever since that hunt, people have been spotting Arzuros wandering the Moga Woods at night. That's right, I unlocked Moga Woods at night time, and you can hunt uh, new monsters there. You can hunt new monsters in with high rank stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I'm always keeping tabs on those woods. Yep. Oh, no. This time at night. Oh, but they're hearing Crimson Kurupeko calls. Yep. Crimson Kurupeko. We're gonna be hunting those at night. Okay, bear off time. I love bear off. Oh, wait. Uh, Royal, no, Fatty Tomato, and how about Tanzayan Ale? Dragon Res. No, let's just go with Royal Cheese. I don't know if Baroth actually inflicts water damage with his mud. I'm pretty sure he does, because it inflicts water blade. So... I guess monsters must really love nature. Of course, monsters are part of nature. Uh, where is it? Avenge the Fallen Hunter. Sandy Plains at night. I need hot drinks. I need hot drinks. Let's buy a few. Okay. Avenge the Fallen Hunter. Hunt a bear off. My weapon bounced off its hide like a toy. That thing moved so fast. Before I knew it, I was knocked cold. The medicine man says it's just a scratch, but the pain. Avenge my flesh wound. That's why you want a hammer when fighting bear off. You won't bounce off if you use the super pound. Also, the Rathalos hammer sounds like a Rathalos when you swing it. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Baroth. What are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? Again, with that epic roar. It's been a while since we fought Baroth, hasn't it? As usual, I'm gonna try aiming for the head. Oh, broke the claws. That was easy. Okay, this is gonna be a cinch. 
See, can you hear it? It sounds like a Rathalo screeching. Now he's enraged. Of course, I'd be mad if someone pounded on my head with a hammer. I'd be pretty upset. I would not be happy. Of course, I probably wouldn't be mad. I'd just be annoyed. Like, hey, why'd you do that? That was uncalled for. I'm a calm person. I don't get angry. I get annoyed. I can't even remember the last time I got... I actually got angry. Get him. Oh, was that his hip check? Yes, it was. I'm pretty sure it's the first time he's done the hip check in this playthrough. He can do it in low rank. I've heard. I've never seen him do it in low rank. I've never seen him use the hip check in low rank, but I have seen him use it quite a bit in high rank. And that's that. The crest is off. Time to start pounding on him. No worries. Oh, leaving. He's leaving. But where is he leaving? To where? Okay, area four. Got a regular Baroth scalp from his crest there. I think you can get scalp plus. I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know you can get um, G rank items from the from the crest in G rank though. I think they're called Baroth crowns or something like that. So oh, now he's eating or trying to eat because we bashed him on the head again. What are you doing, Baroth? What did that Jaggy think he was doing? He just, like, lunged into the middle there. Sucker. Let's see how you like this. First time I ever fought Baroth was with a sword and shield, but now I'm the best with Baroth at a hammer. Baroth, he is a cinch with the hammer. If you know how to use the hammer, that is. I didn't start using the hammer until I got used to it. Until I knew what I was doing. And I'm pretty sure that's why the gobble gave me such a hard time that first time when I first fought him. It was probably because I didn't know what I was doing with the hammer. Then again, it was probably the Gobble himself as well. Uh, Taka. Taka the Vengeful Gobble. We are just going hog wild with this hammer. Look at this. Yeah, and I knew he was going to make a comeback. Uh oh. Wet stone. I need one. Stupid Jaggy. Go after the Shakalakas, please. Please. Thank you. He's gonna go for me, isn't he? Yeah. Here it comes. Leave me alone. Get away from me, Bear Up. Okay, now we're ready to rumble again. I wonder if he's low on health yet. I wonder if he's close to dying. I mean, the amount of times we've been pounding on him with his hammer. <laughs> that should uh, count for something, right?
But no, the Rathalos hammer, it's it's a great hammer. I've used it in Monster Hunter Owl. Monster Hunter Try. And it's just the best fire hammer out there. Come on, Barra. No, you want to die. Here it comes. Love the way this guy charges. He's like a big bulldozer. In fact, I heard that Baroth is actually based on a bulldozer. Okay, he's not low on health yet. Where's he going? Area 3. Back to Area 3. Um, I call it Baroth's Bog, because that's what it is. Just stretching my arm, because it's falling asleep again. I need to get this microphone a stand, so I'm not leaning over all this time, because last time I recorded, my voice is fluctuating between loud and quiet, and it was because I kept on dipping my head down to be as loud as I possibly can on this microphone. So I need to get a stand, so I won't need to dip my head down, and so I can just concentrate on the game. Because my arm is falling asleep. Oh. Here I go. I love how slow he charges when he's low on stamina. That's exactly what it looks like he's doing. He's like, here I go. You have to be close to death. Come on, I wasted those two bear off in Port Tanzaya. Oh, I hear another Benahabra. See if I can carve him up. Oh, I just got a regular shell. That stinks. I was hoping for a... Well, what are they called? A spine. Benahabra spine. Come on, Baroth. You have to be close. There's no way any Brute Wyvern weak against fire would be able to survive the amount of damage I've been piling on with this hammer. Except maybe Durambaros. He has a load of health. As always, aim for the weak spots. In this case, the arms, slash claws, front legs, if you will. Whoa! Oh, the Benahabra just got swatted. Oh, yep, there's his hip check. Uh... Clear for you viewers. Clear shot at his hip check. What are you doing? Spare me. Oh, there's there's it again. Kiamba, you're filled with rage. Just imagine what this guy must be feeling. Didn't knock him over. Come on, Baroth. You're close. You're gonna die. Just give up. Monsters never give up, though. You have to. You have to give them credit for that. You have to give the monsters credit where credit is due. I mean, I've been pounding away at this guy, and he's still, he still is fighting him. Look at him. Look at him go. He's a fighter. 
He's a warrior. He'll go down fighting. Not even close to death yet. He didn't limp. That is one tough brute wyvern. I'm gonna stop and start the recording real quick, and I will see you in a few seconds. Alright, hopefully we can wrap this up in the next five or so minutes. I demolished the Baroth in Port Tanzaya. <laughs> there is no way this guy... He, he's gonna flee from Area 2 limping. He's gonna be limping by the time we get finished with him. Yes, keep playing the epic music. Oh no. See? See, I told you. I told you he'd be limping. He, he's... See? Okay, Baroth, let's just finish you. Let's finish you off. We're gonna wait until he goes to fall asleep. And then we are going to finish him once and for all, and then that will be the end of this recording. I think we unlock the Baroth subspecies after we fight him. I'm pretty sure we unlock the Baroth subspecies. Ready for action. Oh, we just got hip-checked. Low on stamina, are we? I think I thought I saw a drool. Yeah, low on stamina. You won't live for long, Barrow. Enjoy your last moments. You have to feel sorry for the monsters, though, kind of. I mean, hunters all over just slaughter these guys en masse. I mean. Don't humans eat... I, I mean, this is like post-medieval times, I'm pretty sure. I mean, humans don't care about the environment. <laughs> oh, wyverns are endangered? Who cares? They're killing us. Survival of the fittest. No, humans just don't give a damn. It's a video game, though. There's an endless number of these. They respawn. And I just saved myself there. With a blow to the head. But like I was saying, humans don't care. If it's in their best interests, they'll just slaughter these guys. There is a quest, though, in Monster Hunter Tri called Wyvern Conservation. I forget if it's in this um, game as well, but in Monster Hunter Tri it was called Wyvern Conservation, and the quest client genuinely cared about the welfare of wyverns. But, like I said, it's a video game. It doesn't matter, but in real life, nature would definitely be suffering right now. In my fanfic, I just make it out there's a war between monsters and humans. It, it's a war. <laughs> Plain and simple. It's monster versus human, and... Um... I'm still... I figured out what it is that caused the war, and he will be appearing in a future fanfic. Okay. Baroth Ridge Plus, Baroth Carapace, Baroth Carapace, Baroth Claw Plus, Baroth Scalp, Baroth Carapace, Baroth Carapace, Shining Charm, Monster Bone M, Monster Bone Plus, Bone Husk, Bone Husk, Blood Run Jewel, Bone Husk, Monster Keen Bone, and Baroth Claw. What do we have here? 
evasion plus six and pierce s plus minus eight. No. <laughs> Just no. Longest bear off so far. That was pretty fun. That was a fun hunt. Okay, did we unlock that quest yet? Did we do it? No. Where's Jade Baroth? Maybe he's in the next tier, I think? Oh, well, we're going to be doing a few more monsters later. We're probably going to be doing um, maybe Great Rogi, uh, Rathian, Royal Ludroth, and we might also be doing Rathian, this this quest here, Rathian and Baroth. Um, only thing is, I don't know what weapon to use against both of them. Uh, I suppose I could use something like Poison. I could use my Royal Ludroth hammer. Or I could use uh, one of my water weapons. Um, I do have the Rhyme Blade now. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm just not sure. Um, uh, did you collect anything, Cha-Cha? Okay, what do we have? Monster Broth, Nitro Shroom, Great Jaggy Claw, Honey, Arzuro's Carapace, Stone, and Needleberry. What about you, Kayamba? You have a Baroth Scalp. And a felvine. Okay. Um. So yeah, that is going to be it for this recording session. We did Great Jaggy, we did Crimson Kurupeko, we did Baroth, and we did two R Zero. So that's pretty much all in a day's work for me. Um. Yeah, hope you liked the video. Farewell and many great goodbyes. This has been Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, and Chacha and Kayamba, the Shakalakas. And I will see you again next time for more Monster Hunter Try Ultimate. See you later, happy hunting, and have a